Stumping Trump A Tetraced Inverter Awakening Invocation In this procedure, we're going to clear up the kind of murky ambivalence and indoctrinated mind control that allows authoritarianism to continue and to flourish. In this procedure, I'm going to begin by stirring things up quite a bit with a brief discussion of the nature of authoritarianism, which has led to Trumpism. After that, we'll clarify and settle that disturbance by means of the procedure that follows. Now, the stirring up part. The prime characteristic of authoritarianism is that people don't exercise their own intelligence. They let others do their thinking for them. This is true regardless of how smart they think they are and how adroit they are at weaving rationalizations and complex intellectual explanations and justifications for the authoritarian behavior in which they've been indoctrinated. They do this kind of explanation and justification weaving by means of their imagination. The process, of course, involves selectively disregarding what they remember, the facts of the situation. Therefore, they are ungrounded and hallucinatory in their attitude towards the situation. As Mark Twain put it, no amount of evidence is sufficient to convince an idiot. This kind of disregard of memory in favor of imagination is what we call lying. They assert the authoritarian thinking as if it were their own, the way a little boy or a little girl on the playground bosses everyone else on the playground around according to the way Daddy has disciplined or punished him or her. The appearance of Trump is the consequence of a general trend in the population towards authoritarianism. One thing that authoritarianism grants to a person is exemption from blame or responsibility to anyone other than the authority. After all, they're just following orders, in effect. As a consequence, people become amoral, dishonest, betrayers, or in terms that apply to Trump, traitors. People who are authoritarians are confused. They've confused their own native intelligence, which they override, with the so-called intelligence of those who are their accepted authorities. That way, they get to express anger, something that they could never do, towards the authority who has abused them and trained them into being authoritarians. We're seeing a pandemic of that behavior now. This procedure is to disentangle the confusion so that a person can tell the ways in which they are betraying themselves and everyone else by abandoning their own intelligence and thereby sort out what's intelligence from what they've merely been told. This failure to sort out their own intelligence from what they've been told is a characteristic of all people who support the authoritarian agenda of Donald Trump and the Republican Party in these times. Unfortunately, even people who are against authoritarianism have the trend of authoritarianism in them, subliminally indoctrinated into them by the ocean of opinion and communication in which they live. It may show up in more benign ways than we've been discussing, such as political correctness, which often includes a kind of neurotic hypersensitivity, and in the tendency to compromise on things about which compromise is inappropriate, such as cruel behaviors and official policies. It's present as an internal conflict in themselves that prevents them from mobilizing strongly 
against authoritarians and authoritarian policies. In effect, they allow authoritarian behaviors to continue through complicity or impotence, a thought that might horrify them if they were confronted with it. This kind of compromise, weakness of character, is why this inverter procedure, stumping Trump, is necessary and desirable. The more people who have clarity on the situation, the faster we can turn the tide and right this ship in stormy waters as we head into the turbulence of economic downturn, being experienced by many, and of the climate shift, which is abundantly presently evident. As with all tetraced awakening invocations, I state the instructions at each step, and you echo those instructions to yourself to internalize them, either by thinking them to yourself in your own mind, or by stating them aloud. State each instruction clearly to yourself. Follow the same rhythm, pacing, and voice inflection that you hear me do. If you want to know why, do it some other way once, and do it my way once, and notice the difference. At each step, notice the intensity of feelings triggered by the step. Do not evaluate for correctness. You're likely to notice certain feelings come up that are in conflict with the way you would prefer to be. Just feel those. There's nothing you need to do about them. They will self-correct as you do the procedure as given. Finally, a few words on the use of the word stumping. Stumping is a term in the vernacular that means to stop somebody, to bewilder them, to leave them without resources for continuation. You can see how that word, stumping, applies here. We begin. Stumping Trump Stumping Trump Intending Stumping Trump Intending stumping Trump. Intending, intending. Intending stumping Trump. Stumping Trump. Intending. Refusing. Intending. Stumping Trump. Refusing. Stumping Trump. Intending. Refusing stumping Trump. Intending stumping Trump. Intending stumping Trump. Refusing stumping Trump. Intending. Intending stumping Trump. Refusing. Intending stumping Trump. Refusing stumping Trump.
intending stumping Trump. Stumping Trump. Stumping Trump. Intending stumping Trump. Intending stumping Trump. Stumping Trump. Intending. Refusing stumping Trump. Refusing stumping Trump. Intending. Refusing stumping Trump. Stumping Trump. Stumping Trump. Refusing stumping Trump. Refusing stumping Trump. Intending stumping Trump. Intending stumping Trump. Refusing stumping Trump. Refusing intending stumping Trump. Intending stumping Trump. Stumping Trump. Stumping Trump. Intending stumping Trump. Intending stumping Trump. Intending intending. Intending stumping Trump. Stumping Trump. Intending. Refusing intending stumping Trump. Refusing stumping Trump. Intending. Refusing stumping Trump. Intending stumping Trump. Intending stumping Trump. Refusing stumping Trump. Intending. 
intending stumping Trump. Refusing intending stumping Trump. Refusing stumping Trump. Intending stumping Trump. Stumping Trump, Stumping Trump, Intending Stumping Trump. Intending Stumping Trump. Stumping Trump. Intending. Refusing Intending Stumping Trump. Refusing Stumping Trump. Intending. Refusing Stumping Trump. Stumping Trump. Stumping Trump. Refusing Stumping Trump. Refusing Stumping Trump. Intending Stumping Trump. Intending Stumping Trump. Refusing Stumping Trump. Refusing Intending Stumping Trump. Intending Stumping Trump. Refusing Stumping Trump. This completes the Inverter Stumping Trump Tetraced Awakening Invocation. A successful outcome of this procedure is for you to have identified ways in which you are conflicted about this issue. You do it not by mental analysis or thinking, but by immediate perception of feelings called up by the steps of the procedure. If you didn't get a whole bunch of self-revelations of this type, the instructions likely penetrated no further than your conventional thinking word mind the mind of familiar meanings, and did not penetrate to the depth where feeling and motivation live. In that case, redo the procedure until you get the effect I've just described, and you feel liberated and clarified about the issue of stumping Trump.